And it is time for Tax Tip Tuesday. This morning we are joined by Chris Porter with Porter Kenny. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Doing well. Good. Thanks for coming in. So we are talking about retirement planning today. So let's start out with when someone should start planning for their retirement. It's always good to plan early. So frequently okay. people will graduate from college in their 20s and start their first full-time job. Mm -hmm. That would be the time to start putting money into retirement. I know. If huh? you wait till you're in your 30s or even 40s, you've really just missed out on a great opportunity to get money in early and have it grow for a long period of time. Yeah, my dad would always say, you're just throwing it all away. Why wouldn't you do it now? Yep. So luckily I've had that guidance. But how much do you need to save? Well. One rule of thumb is if your employer offers a match on your retirement plan. Mm -hmm. So a lot of employers have a 401k right. and they will say if you put in 4% of your income, we will match it dollar for dollar up to 4% of your income. That's a no brainer. Yeah. So if your employer offers a match, at least put in that amount. Okay. Uh, beyond that, it's really up to your own individual goals and your situation. A mm -hmm. lot of people will say 10% is a good rule of thumb. Wow. But you really want to just sit down with a competent financial advisor and, and come up with a plan. Right. And is it something where you guys can forecast? out by the time say someone like I retire I mean can you predict that far out of what we're gonna require once we get into retirement age you know no one has a crystal ball but you can come up with reasonable projections based yeah. on average returns and and those kind of things to, to come up with a plan that might work in your situation okay and so good question here how much bang can you get for your buck? Like, how do you maximize this opportunity? Well, one important thing to realize is there's a difference between traditional retirement accounts mm -hmm. and Roth retirement right. accounts. Traditional retirement accounts, you get a tax deduction when you put the money in, mm -hmm. but later when you take it out, it's fully taxable. Okay. With a Roth, it's the complete opposite. There's no tax write-off when you put the money in, but mm -hmm. when you take it out, it's all tax-free. Amazing. So, so it's important to understand the distinction there to get the most bang for your buck from a tax perspective. Definitely. Okay, well, good advice. Thank you so much for coming in this morning.